You need the non-sticky stuff, so it's like just oil. If you don't have like the spray oil, I when I don't have that, I just get regular oil and I put it on a napkin and I rub it on the pans so that nothing sticks. You got it? You got it. You good. Good! Excellent cooking! Don't fill it, put it like halfway because when you cook things, it rises and you don't want it to like overflow and be nasty. Cool? Yeah. You take each one and you throw it in. Good. Take another one. Then, close it, and now you wait. The way I usually check it is I stab it with a knife, and if the knife comes out clean, that means it's ready. If it comes out all nasty and caca-ish, that means it's still wet and nasty, so you have to let it cook more. Okay? Check back with you later and see if it tastes like poop. But it won't because I'm amazing. Get a towel so you don't burn your hands and fingers and eyeballs off. Good. Now is the final reveal. It looks very plain because it's just bread. But it tastes like bananas. It's very hot, so... No, I'm still gonna eat it, I don't care. It's time to try it. It's so hot, ha! Huh? I think my opinion of my own cooking is all that really matters because I'm not a chef and I don't really care. So, that's it for my banana bread. If you liked it, like the video, if you didn't, it doesn't really matter. I'm sorry if the ah, I keep dropping it. Sorry if the directions weren't good. I am not a chef and I don't work for Food Network. So bone appetite. The reviews are in. Not that he has a taste. Okay. No, yeah the. Speak oh. up. How does it taste, Natalie?